Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to fix error processing interior in KDP. The main thing with error processing interior is to flatten your PDF. 99% of the time when people have come to me with this error, I told them to flatten their PDF and that fixed it. You can test if your PDF is actually flattened by going into Acrobat Reader, which is free, and you're going to go File, Open, and you're going to open your PDF. And if the text is selectable like this, then it's not flattened. So this right here is not a flattened PDF. If that is happening, then here's what you can do to flatten it. If you're in Canva and you go to share and then you go to download and you'll pick PDF print, make sure that you check flatten PDF and make sure you do not check crop marks and bleed. That's going to make your file the wrong size because Canva doesn't use the same bleed settings as KDP. Select either RGB or CMYK. For more info on that, check out my video on RGB versus CMYK for your children's book, and then download. In Photoshop, you'll go to File, Export, and instead of doing Artboards to PDF, do Artboards to Files. Pick a folder, so I can go inside of Platy's Perfect Day, and I'll create a new folder called like Flatten Pages. And then I'm going to do artboard content only, include background and export, and for the file type, I'm going to pick JPEG. Make sure you click export options and have the quality all the way up to 12, and then click run. That will take each of your pages and flatten it into a JPEG image. When that's done, you'll get this pop-up that says artboards to files was successful, and just click OK. Now we can close this file, and I'm going to go to File, Automate, PDF Presentation, and I'm going to do Browse. I'm going to that folder that I made, Flatten Pages, and I'm going to select everything in that folder and click Open. Now you just want to go in here and make sure everything is in order. My cover page actually should be first, so I'm just going to drag it up. And then over here, I'm going to pick multi-page document, and then you can just ignore the other options, and I'll click Save. I'll give it a name and click Save. You can check these options. You just want to make sure that you have your image quality on maximum, and that's pretty much it. And we can click Save PDF, and we'll just let Photoshop do its thing. Now, if we go into Acrobat Reader and we do File, Open, and we'll grab that flattened version, and now, as you can see, I can't select the text. This is just a flat image here. So that's how we know that this is flattened. If those don't work, then there's a couple other things you can do. One is you can try a different browser. So, for example, I use Chrome, so I could just open up Safari or Firefox and try those. And then the other thing is I have seen this happen when people have the wrong file dimensions and the wrong size in Amazon selected. If the final size of my book is going to be eight and a half by eight and a half, for example, then that's what I'm going to click here. But the dimensions of the pages are going to be 8.625 by 8.75. So the file you're uploading is going to be different from what you pick in trim size. And that's very important. I've seen people get that error processing interior message when they have the wrong trim size picked. If you have any questions, of course, let me know in the comments. And as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.